Welcome back to a good above tarot. This is the moment of inspiration. This video is all about praise, healing, being encouraged and inspired to continue to move forward, not allowing your hope, your faith, to fall to the ground, but to continue to be steadfast in hope and faith. The Bible says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. The Bible tells us that if we have faith as a mustard seed, we can move mountains. We can speak to the, the mountains and tell them to fall in the sea and they will do so. So since we're on a healing journey, Let us build up on our most holy faith. Mm.
speaking of healing, we all at some times in our life need healing, whether it be in a natural or in the spirit. Our spirit reaches out and cries out to God for mercy, for healing, for understanding, for peace. And many more things. Psalm 6 says, O Lord, rebuke me not in thy anger, neither chasten me in thy hot displeasure. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am weak. O Lord, heal me, for my bones are vexed. My soul is also sore vexed. But thou, O Lord, how long? Return, O Lord, deliver my soul. O save me for thy mercy's sake. For in death there is no remembrance of thee. In the grave who shall give thee thanks? I am weary with my groanings all the night. Make I my bed to swim. I water my couch with my tears. My eye is consumed because of grief. It waxes old because of all my enemies. Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity, for the Lord hath heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord hath heard my supplication. The Lord will receive my prayer. Let all my enemies be ashamed and sore vexed. Let them return and be ashamed. Suddenly, for those that have been praying and crying out to God and with tears, God heard your prayers. Even in his word, he say, it says that he heard your supplications and he will receive your prayers. It also goes on to say that all mine enemies be ashamed and so vexed, and let them return and be ashamed suddenly. So if any have been waiting for you to die, sitting around enjoying watching you be afflicted, they're being turned around and they're being sent back ashamed. Because they expected something that was not going to happen. If you find yourself with a broken heart or a broken spirit, Luke chapter 4, verses 17 and 18 says, and there was delivered unto him the book of prophets, Esaias. And when he had opened the book, speaking of Jesus, he found the place where it was written. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. And 19 says, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Therefore, the word of God is here to heal the brokenhearted. To recover the sight of those that are blind. Spiritually. And naturally. To preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Therefore, I take this moment to talk about 
this being an acceptable year of the Lord. This is a time for each and every person that are sick, regardless whether it's in the natural or in the spiritual realm, to be healed. Will you receive your healing today? The book of John speaks of our prayer availeth much. The book of James. So let's go to the fifth chapter of James. We're going to read from the eleventh verse all the way to the sixteenth verse. And it says, Behold, we count them happy which endure. Ye have heard of the patience of Job, and have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy. But above all things, my brethren, swear not, neither by heaven, neither by earth, neither by the other earth, any other oath. But let your yea be yea, and your nay nay, lest ye fall into condemnation. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with the oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of the faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall rise, raise him up. And if he have committed sin... They shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another and pray ye one for another, that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. So if there is any that have sinned, and we've all sinned and come short of the glory of God, your sins shall be forgiven. And you shall be healed. Regardless whether it's on the natural plane or in the spiritual plane, ye shall be healed. That is the word of God. Is any among you sick? Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church. Let him pray over him, anointing him with the oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick. And the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven. Will you receive your healing today? Matthew 7 and 7. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. Not said might, not, not said might, but shall be opened. Is there anything that you need from God? Just like a little kid would be on his mama's knee patting and patting and saying, can he have a drink of water? Can he have a drink of water? He want a cookie. He want a cookie. He going to keep asking. He going to keep pestering his mama until he get what he want, right? Either she going to get up and get it for him or she going to say, boy, get away from me. But more likely she going to get up and say, let me give him this cookie because if not, he going to come back and ask for it again. Therefore, your father in heaven, if you continue to ask him for a particular thing, whether it be in health or wealth, you're going to get it. He said, knock and it shall be opened. But there's another scripture that says, when you ask for something, you ask amiss. Meaning that you don't believe that you're going to get it. You prayed about it, you asked for it. But when it was time to get it, you began to doubt. I 
I ask again, will you receive your healing? Now here's your formula. John chapter 14, verses 13 and 14 says, And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Did you hear that? Let me read that last verse again. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Let us pray. Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we all come before you. We ask that you forgive us for all our sins, transgressions, and iniquities, hidden faults, and hidden sins, sins of omission, and sins of commission. We ask, Lord God, that you, Lord God, cover us with the precious blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Remove, Lord God, all sickness, illness, and disease, infirmities, and afflictions, Lord God, spiritual and natural. We ask, Lord God, that you would elevate our minds above circumstances and situations. We ask, Lord God, that you would bind the spirit of infirmity. Bind the spirit of affliction, dis-ease and sickness, infirmities and afflictions. In the powerful name of your Son, Jesus Christ, cast them out, Lord God. Send them back from whence they come, Lord God. As far as the east is from the west, Lord God, in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. I ask, Lord God, that your mighty angels would arrest these spirits, Lord God, and send them back from whence they come. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask that you would loose, Lord God, healing, Lord God, to every person under the sound of my voice and that's watching this video. Heal, Lord God, every sickness, illness, and disease, discomfort, blood pressure issues, heart issues, digestive system issues, confusion of the mind, the body, and the soul. Give back, Lord God, sound mind and sound bodies in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. Discord, Lord God, let it no longer be, but peace take its place in the powerful name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Father God, I ask that you, Lord God, open up eyes, Lord God, spiritual eyes to see, Father God, and give revelation with it, Lord God. Give spiritual ears to hear you, Lord God, and a heart to receive, and let, Lord God, your word fall on good ground in man, in the name of Jesus Christ. I ask that you will bind, Lord God, every spirit, Lord God, every demonic spirit that will come, Lord God, as a stronghold to keep your people captive in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. I bind the spirit of lust, Lord Lord God, and every unclean spirit, I cast it out in the name of Jesus Christ. I curse it at the root and the seed, and I send it back from whence it come, in the holy name of Jesus Christ. All black magic, Lord God, that has been sent, Lord God, to do a thing through generations and generations. Father God, I call it null and void by the power of the Holy Ghost, and I command it no longer to have any power, but to fall to the ground. In the blessed name of your Son. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that those that have any kind of problems with their their organs, Lord God, I pray right now in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost, Lord God, that every organ, Lord God, is healed. Father, in your storehouse, you have new parts. I even asked in the name of Jesus Christ that you would give new body parts, Lord God, hearts, heart valves, digestive systems are messed up, Lord God, spinches, Lord God. Liver, kidney, spleens, Lord God, eyes, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, you know, Lord God, that what each and every person is is dealing with, Father. And I ask, Lord God, that you will meet them where they at. Assign an angel, Lord God, to minister to them, Lord God, the healing virtue in the powerful name of your Son. Let them feel that you're moving, Lord God. Let them feel, Lord God, you're anointed in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind every fighting spirit in the name of Jesus. We cast it out and send it back from whence it come. And we loose the spirit of peace in this place. Oh, thank you, Lord God. Thank you for it. Thank you for it, Lord God. 
We thank you, Lord God. We bind the spirit of rebellion, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. And we loose the spirit of obedience in the powerful name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the holy name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Father God, we ask, Lord God, that you will elevate our minds, Lord God. Take us to higher heights and deeper depths in you, Lord God. Stir up the gifts that you've given us, Lord God. Renew, Lord God, those, Lord God, that are lying dormant, Lord God. Father God, we ask that you stir up the gifts according to your word, Lord God. And we thank you for it. We believe that it is done, Father. We ask that you would order your own footsteps in you, Lord God. Lead and guide us in a plain path, Father. We thank you for it, Lord God. I ask, Lord God, that the peace of God that surpassed the understanding of man would rest and abide into each and every person's home right now in the name of Jesus. That when they lay down to sleep, Lord God, let their beds be anointed, that they get sleep, sweet sleep, according to your word, Father God. I ask, Lord God, that you will bind, Lord God, our filthy dreams, Lord. Bind it in the name of Jesus Christ. Bind the spirits, Lord God, that come to give nightmares, Lord. In the powerful name of Jesus Christ, I ask that you will set up a barrier of protection around the household and around each and every person, Lord God. I ask, Lord God, that you cover them with your blood. May the blood of Jesus sweep through their house, Lord God. And, Lord God, remove every negative thing, Lord. Lord God, every spirit of negativity, Father God, send the enemy a flight seven ways, Lord God, let him not be able to lurk or linger in no shape, form, or fashion, Lord God, let him not be able to follow, Lord God, nobody back to the household, Lord God. Father, we ask, Lord God, if anybody has brought anything to a house, Lord God, to bring any kind of negativity to the household or upset, Father, we ask, Lord God, that you would remove, Lord God, the negativity from the objects in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. I decree blessings upon blessings upon each and every person under the sound of my voice that are listening to this video. I decree peace in your household, peace to your body, peace to your mind, peace on your job with your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, glory to God. We thank you for it, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that they get a good night's sleep and wake up, Lord God, at the time appointed, clothed in their right mind, refreshed in the name of Jesus Christ, and sanctified. Glory to God. 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 Those that have unspoken requests, Lord God. Yeah, I ask that you honor it right now in the name of Jesus. Sia <laughs> Ho konde ni bo si abe, ye ni mande ni bo santa, ye 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 ye. Oh glory to God, yeah. God said that He will perfect the thing today. Yes, He will. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord God. Yeah, the Lord said that what you asked for is a small thing. He counted mediocre. Hallelujah. But He said that what you asked for, He shall give unto thee in the name of His Son. Jesus Christ, and I thank you, Lord God. Yeah, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. 
Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Lord God. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Yeah, every lying spirit we bind right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, I bind our flesh, Lord God. Let no flesh glory, Lord God. But you get the honor and the glory and the praise. Thank you, Father God. Yeah, thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Father God. There's none like you in heaven and earth. Thank you, Father. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Lord God. Meet every need, Lord God. Supply the need, Lord God. Excel the need, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, give them, Lord God, a prophet's reward, Father God. In the powerful name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord God. Father God, bills are needed to be paid. And your word said money answers all things. I ask, Lord God, that money answer all things. That you touch their pocketbooks. Touch the bank account, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, touch the employers, Lord God. To give them a raise, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let, Lord God, no disaster, Lord God. Come nigh thee. Come near them. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, dear God. Protect them, Lord God. Protect their household. Protect their children, Lord God. And all, Lord God, their loved ones. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ooh, glory, 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 glory. I hear greater love has no man than this. Glory, 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 glory. For the Lord did send his son. Hallelujah. And he laid his life down for his friends. Yeah, everybody not a friend of the Lord God. Yeah, but if you attach yourself to him, you are his friend. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Lord, I thank you for it. I thank you for it. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I hear the Lord say, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit to see if it be of God. Yeah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. He say, test the spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He say, test the spirit. Glory to God. Test the spirit to see if it be of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Oh, glory to God. Oh, the Lord say, many a call, but few are chosen. <laughs> he say, many a call, but few are chosen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, bless the Lord, oh, my soul. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, dear God. Glory to God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for your amazing. Thank you for your amazing grace. Thank you for your peace, Lord, your love. Thank you for your comfort. Thank you for your healing virtue. Thank you for your amazing angels. Thank you, Lord God, for the blessings. Thank you for deliverance. Yeah. Thank you for deliverance. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, for perfect peace, Lord God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord God. I hear the blessings of the Lord. He make it rich and added no sorrow with it. The blessings of the Lord. He make it rich and added no sorrow with it. I declare and decree peace be unto each and every person up under the sound of my voice. I ask that you tell God thank you daily for your healing, for your prosperity, for your unspoken requests that you have before, for your peace of mind, for your elevation in the spirit. For the anointing power that destroys the yoke of bondage. 
for setting you free from the stronghold of the strong man. For giving you your heart's desire. I ask that you would thank God daily. Even if it's just a passing, just make sure you say, Lord, I thank you. You activate your healing and your blessings by telling the Lord, thank you. Anytime you're in a need, all you have to do is praise God. Yeah. I hear the Lord saying that he will perform. He will perfect the thing for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, eyes have not seen, nor ears heard, nor have it entered into the hearts of man. What the Lord has in store for his people. And then another Bible says what he has in store for them that love him. God doesn't change. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He's always in the blessing business. He's always in the healing business. He's always in the deliverance business. If you want to know a thing, talk to God. I hear the Lord say that he's blessing. He said, press down, shaking together. He's going to pour out a blessing that even you yourself cannot even contain. But those that are pessimistic, according to my faith, not yours, may God show up and show out in your life. May your life never be the same from this day forth, forevermore. I love you in the Lord. Be encouraged. May you going out and coming in be protected. May the angels go before you and prepare the way and rebuke the evil on every hand. May your vehicle uh, have no tickets break down and you be accident free. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, the Son of the living God. And we all say, Amen. Amen. So it is. So be it unto me. Peace.